Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. Today is Monday, the 20th day of May. It is Culture Freedom Day, Eliza Doolittle Day, Flower Day, International Clinical Trials Day, International Red Sneakers Day, uh, National Be a Millionaire Day, Band Director Day, High Heels Day, Pick Strawberries Day, Quiche Lorraine Day, River Cleanup Day, what else is it here? World Bee Day, World Meteorology Day, um, Supply Chain Professionals Day, Accounting Day. There's so many others. There's a ton of stuff happening. All of that happening today on this Monday, the 20th day I love of Quiche Lorraine. Do you really? Oh. Have I ever had that? Is that the quiche that yeah. you make? Yeah. I didn't know her name was Lorraine. <laughs> I know it's good. Uh, I've, I've got a Movie Star Monday guest joining me as well, Jim Cummings. Very, very cool guy. He's got a movie that just came out in theaters. And it looks pretty scary. We're going to chat with him all about that coming up. Whether you have a credit card now and need a better credit card, or if you don't even have a credit card, but you'd like to get a good one, we would love to help at BetterCreditCards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks, or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. At BetterCreditCards.com. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. It is true. Everyone loves to receive a compliment, right? Yeah. You look marvelous, honey. Usually, but I mean, some of us do. I mean, you can get really uncomfortable if somebody gives you a compliment and you don't know how to respond. Yeah. so. So what is the best compliment to give? Turns out that we love hearing that our home is clean when guests come over. And what's more, according to a poll, 43% of us agree. One of the best home compliments is, your home smells so good. The one poll survey of 2,000 adults in the U.S. looked at how home fragrances play a role in house cleanliness. Uh, 55% of respondents said that, that the way a home smells is even more important than how it looks. Other favorite home-related compliments include that the place has a good vibe, uh, that it looks clean, Paul also found the most common signs that your home needs a good cleaning are when there is visible dust or when it starts to feel unclean. And 46% they say they feel the need to clean their home when, that, when, they don't, uh, when the home doesn't smell fresh. Yeah, so. I, the house needs to smell good. I agree with that completely. See, the struggle is I live there, so it usually doesn't smell good. <laughs> Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. So how do you like these gas prices? Not great, huh? How would you like to save money every time you get gas? I've been using this app for a few years, and it's amazing. You can find out more at Radiosavings.com. When I first heard about it, I didn't think we'd have this in our area. But they seem to have stuff all over the place. You can sign up for free and try it for yourself. They have savings on gas, but on many other things too, like restaurants and convenience stores. Try it for free at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Did you know? Brought to you by genesisgoldira.com. Heidi, did you know that tigers have striped skin, not just striped fur? Am I saying that right? Because it sounds funny. Striped or striped? Striped. Striped. So stripe it is not a thing. I don't think so. <laughs> Sounds like so. I'm having a stroke over here. <laughs> the stripe is are like fingerprints. I know that it's really just the stripes. The stripes are like fingerprints. No two tigers have the same pattern. Oh, that's cool. That is very cool. Unless, of course, they're store bought, like porcelain and probably tigers, zebras too. Yeah, that is the case, and uh, and also giraffes. Although yeah. they don't have stripes, <laughs> they have spots. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move on now. We don't know everything, but now we know this. <laughs> Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by Radiosavings.com. The most fascinating star in this summer's hotly anticipated crossover, Deadpool and Wolverine, might not be Ryan Reynolds or Hugh Jackman. It could be the ugliest dog in Britain, Peggy. Oh, fun. Also known as Pugsy, uh, because there's a dog in the film called Dogpool. Yes, it's a real character, and it's the ugliest dog in England. Hits theaters July the 26th. The Voice has found their next two coaches, Snoop Dogg and Michael Buble. So that's kind of funny. They're going to be there with Reba McIntyre and Gwen Stefani for season 26. Holy cow. George Clooney is making his Broadway debut in a play adaptation of his 2005 drama, Good Night and Good Luck. So that's kind of cool. He's going to play Edward R. Murrow, who hosted the CBS See It Now way back in the day. And Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie are teaming up again 
to star in a new TV reality series over 20 years after The Simple Life debuted. This new program is called New Era, Same Besties, coming soon to Peacock. So there you go. just wonderful. Set your VCRs. (laughs) What? We don't have those anymore? (laughs) Big screen, little screen, brought to you by Radiosavings.com. Do you have a mobile phone? How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mentorvention.com. That's Mentorvention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Heidi, take a listen to this. There was a survey that was done, and in this survey, one in five adults said they are too tired for sex. One in five. The other four were men. (laughs) 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 Taking the rest of the weekend off. All right. I'll get back to work. Uh, I'm going to play a fun little game here. And and I just said weekend, but it's Monday. Uh, This is something that we usually do on a weekend, but I'm I'm doing this today. Uh, Would you rather? So it's a fun little game where I ask Heidi, would you rather this or would you rather that? So would you rather play a video game or watch TV all night? Watch TV. Yeah, me too. Would you rather give away all your money or give away all your possessions? Mm, mm. All my money. Yeah, probably me too. Because my home would be a possession. Yeah. So. And I mean, what if I gave away $18, who's going to care? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather live in a real haunted house or in the middle of a desert? Um, <laughs> probably in a real haunted house. I would too. Like I said, hopefully I've got friendly ghosts. Uh, would you rather watch your most embarrassing moment on a one-hour loop every month or remember it once every day for the rest of your life? I think you do remember it once yeah. every day for yeah, the rest of your pretty life. Much. Would you rather be able to type faster or dance better? Well, I'm already dance the best. Better. I'm already the best dancer I know. So, uh, <laughs> and uh, would you rather sleep on the floor with a pillow and a blanket, or sleep on a bed but no pillow and no blanket? On the floor, on the with, floor a with a pillow and a blanket. Uh, probably. I'm gonna go with the bed. Would you rather sing your favorite song all by yourself in front of an arena full of people, or in front of the original artist all by yourself? I would rather not do either of those. <laughs> <laughs> I did karaoke one time, and the original artist of the song walked in the room while I was singing their song. Song. I didn't pick the song, by the way. The karaoke person did. And then I was singing their song when they walked in. That was really weird. It was so <laughs> awkward. There are other questions if you'd like to play the Would You Rather. It's all in the show notes for today at John and Heidi Show.com. Can your IRA or 401k stand up to the next financial crisis by allocating a percentage of your retirement into physical gold and silver with a tax free rollover? You can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns. Safeguard your assets with a tax free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Protect your retirement today with a simple phone call and receive your free gold and silver guide. Call 1-800-200-GOLD or visit genesisgoldira.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Movie Star Monday. Our guest today, Jim Cummings, is in a new film that's out now. It's called The Last Stop in Yuma County. How long does it take to put a movie like this together? It took about a month of production, three and a half weeks in Palmdale in the middle of the desert at a diner uh, called the Four Aces Booby Ranch. But honestly, it took about 14 months to edit the film. The director and writer, Francis Galupi, ended up editing it himself, and it's finally done. But, you know, it's a labor of love. He did a a year of prep trying to get the film made, and then a month of shooting, and then, you know, a year and a half to edit the film. So, you know, three years almost. It's a a strange time making movies this way, but... It's a really good product, so you're going to be happy with it. Now, I saw the trailer for this, and I'm excited to see the movie. And I see it's in theaters, and it's also available on digital. How weird is that as a filmmaker? Like, growing up, for me, it was like I had to wait months to see this on VHS and then eventually on on DVD. But now, you make a movie, it's in the theater, and sometimes like this, the same exact time, people can watch it at home as well. I think it's nice. You know, the technology has gotten good enough that people can simulate a movie theater experience from home. A lot of people, when they're watching movies like ours that are unsanitized and and rough and raw, prefer not to be around other people so they can't hear them laughing at the the class stuff or something. Um, I don't know. Audiences, I think, have changed. We've become a bit more 
uh, impatient and we want to see the thing immediately if someone's talking about it at the water cooler. And I think it's fine. It's nice. The cinephiles want to go to the cinema and see the film. They get to appreciate it with a big crowd and hear all the laughs and stuff. But um, if somebody does prefer to watch it at home, it's nice that they can immediately do that, too. I think it's neat. Like, we've never had that kind of access in the history of film. And it's changing things, but I prefer it. I think it's very cool. Now, for people who have not seen the trailer or maybe don't know anything about this, let's explain what this movie is about. It's called The Last Stop in Yuma County, but what's it about? The movie is about a diner with the most beautiful waitress in the county uh, in the middle of the desert. And there's an adjacent gas station, but uh, the gas truck hasn't come to fill up the gas station, so it's empty. And I pull up to get gas. I'm a knife salesman, but there's no gas. So I have to have uh, a sit at the diner. And then uh, these bank robbers show up, and they need gasoline, and they're trying to get out as quickly as possible. But nobody has any gas, so they're stuck there waiting for somebody to come with a car uh, that has gasoline. And so they hold me and the waitress hostage, and they say, if anybody else comes in here, act normal. <laughs> and uh, I, it's really funny, because it's just like, what do you do when somebody tells you at gunpoint to act normal? You act very not normal. It's very funny and very tense. And then there's a wonderful cast of characters. There's about 12 people who are great actors that you recognize from everything that come in. And then turns out everybody has guns but me. And there's a big shootout, and I'm stuck under a booth with a knife. And it's very funny and very explosive and very unsanitized. And I think I think people will really like it. And I love the slogan, never bring a knife salesman to a gunfight. That's awesome. That's right. Ripping off the untouchables, Sean Connery's line. It's a, it's a good bit, yeah. Now, I told you, I've not seen the film, but I did watch the trailer, and I'm excited to see the film but in the trailer there's a scene in this diner that kind of reminds me a little bit of pulp fiction was that on purpose or was my brain just working overtime no it's totally a very uh tarantino adjacent film it's funny where like when you put on uh, vintage music and you have actors speaking in a very uh very certain way it does translate to tarantino and there's been a lot of references to that. Tarantino, the Coen brothers, like all of this kind of, you know, after hours, all these like great diner sequences in films have been referenced. And the director, Francis Galupi, is a cinephile and all of that gets kind of like mashed together in his brain before it comes out as a script. It's really not a Tarantino film. It's very much more, I guess, funny or slap the vaudeville. I don't know. It's difficult yeah. to explain. It's a thing of its own. And that diner is like a character of its own. Oh, it's everything. The film is about being stuck in this terrible place. And it's really desolate out there. Having spent a month out there, it's not a real functioning diner. There's no running water. There's no electricity. You have to pump in everything if you want the place to, to work. But on camera, it looks incredible. And we've shot it from every angle. So, like, the entire diner is now documented in this film and you'll see it in commercials now nowadays i'll be watching commercials and i see that spot and i'm like oh it's that but it never looks like it does in this film it's really worth watching it's a very very cool space very cool jim thank you so much for your time oh thank you for having me it's my pleasure again the film is called the last stop in yuma county it's out now i've got a link to the trailer in the show notes for today at john and heidi show.com whether you have a credit card now and need a better credit card or if you don't even have a credit card but you'd like to get a good one we would love to help at bettercreditcards.com we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit we can help you find a good fit for you at bettercreditcards.com give yourself a little credit at bettercreditcards.com bettercreditcards.com fun fact for you heidi what's that john you burn more calories sleeping than you do watching television oh that's good to know Hmm. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There are two U.S. states where the temperatures have never surpassed 100 degrees Fahrenheit, Alaska and Hawaii. Huh. Isn't that crazy? You'd think that Hawaii would get hotter than that, but apparently not. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Pigs can run about 11 miles per hour, but house cats can run about 30 miles per hour. Okay. That's I've never seen a cat run that fast, but apparently... Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? A study found that termites eat wood twice as fast when they're listening to heavy metal music. <laughs> yeah, really? twice as fast. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In the classic novel, Frankenstein, the creature clearly states that he is a vegetarian. 
Really? Yeah, I do not remember that. Me either. Then again, I've never read the novel, so I'm pretty <laughs> but sure. it wasn't in the movie. I saw a cartoon of it <laughs> once, though. Several fun facts. Now, you know, thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. So how do you like these gas prices? Not great, huh? How would you like to save money every time you get gas? I've been using this app for a few years, and it's amazing. You can find out more at radiosavings.com. When I first heard about it, I didn't think we'd have this in our area. But they seem to have stuff all over the place. You can sign up for free and try it for yourself. They have savings on gas, but on many other things too, like restaurants and convenience stores. Try it for free at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way courtesy of mintervention.com. Question Heidi, 25% of people have shopped online in this odd place. Where is it? Bathroom. No, inside the actual store. So they're in a store shopping on that store's website. It's probably because they were in there and they in couldn't the store find... and they didn't have the yeah. item. So they wanted to see if they had it online. I've been in stores where they tell me to go to their website. Well, if yeah. you go to the website, I'm like, but I want to come and do business in your store. All right. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you have a mobile phone? How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mentervention.com. That's Mentervention.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Food mashups, as they go, uh, maybe someday it'll be as popular as pineapple and pizza or mint and lamb or chicken and waffles, but I doubt it. The latest combo to go viral is Dr. Pepper and Pickles. Huh? Ew. According to those who know... Uh, 100% slaps is what they say. TikTok user Mississippi. 100% slaps. What the heck does that, that mean? That means it's really good. It slaps. Does Heidi. it? Oh, I yeah. see. Oh, you need to get down with the lingo, young lady. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. You're just one of them old folks. You don't understand what us young'uns are saying. <laughs> She's uh, almost two years older than me, you know. Uh, um, okay. Like a year and two months older than me. Uh, Dr. Pepper and Pickles. Is the thing. Uh, Mississippi Mima on TikTok. <laughs> what, what just happened there? <laughs> this whole story is. <laughs> they, they, they went through a sonic drive through asking her, hey, can you toss some pickles into our, uh, our Dr. Pepper? The server didn't bat an eye in the order, providing uh, proving that it's a pretty popular choice. Alternate recipe, according to one commenter, the witch doctor, is a thing called a potion that includes a mixture of several different sodas combined with pickles and lemons. Yuck. Yeah, what the just, heck? Yeah, just, nah, I'm good. Is the whole world pregnant? Because it's all weird. <laughs> weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. 2024 Blockbusters Part 1. So uh, the first one on the list here opens, uh, actually opened on the 17th of May, if short for Imaginary Friend. So, have you seen the previews for this? Ryan Reynolds' voice is in this, and I've seen the previews. I saw, and I saw some videos of like it's a the kid red carpet thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. So that opened on May seventeenth. Uh, Furiosia, a, a Mad Max saga, uh, May twenty fourth. It's an origin story about Mad Max, and then Ballerina, June seventeenth, a John Wick spinoff about a dancer assassin named Rooney. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. And uh, apparently, Keanu Does Reeves will show cat? up. What's that? Did somebody kill her cat? I have no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's what happened, but apparently Count Reeves will show up as everybody's favorite killer on the run, John Wick. And the last one we're going to get to today, Bad Boys 4. Can you believe there's four of those now? I can. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence, June 14th, reunite one more time as detectives Mark Lowry and Marcus Burnett, the loose cannons of the Miami Police Department. I'm going to continue this list tomorrow. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Can your IRA or 401k stand up to the next financial crisis by allocating a percentage of your retirement into physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns. Safeguard your assets with a tax-free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Protect your retirement today with a simple phone call and receive your free gold and silver guide. Call 1-800-200-GOLD or visit GenesisGoldIRA.com. 
Um, now your quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of Radiosavings.com. Our quote today is from George Carlin, who says, Love him. Some people see things that are and ask why. Some people dream of things that never were and ask why not. And some people have to go to work and don't have time for all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a great quote. <laughs> I should stitch that on a pillow. Okay, maybe not that, but it's it's a good quote. George Carlin brings us our quote of the day, which comes your way, courtesy of Radiosavings.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. And our story today comes from New Jersey. Love this story. A rescued German shepherd saves the owner's life just months after adoption. A heartwarming Aww. tale of loyalty and bravery. Sadie, a six-year-old German shepherd and uh, an alumni of a place called Arbar. Rampago Bergen Animal <laughs> Refugee. Okay. What? Did I say it wrong? <laughs> it's in New Jersey. They've emerged as a true hero. I, I'm pretty sure I said all of that wrong. I didn't mean to. Sadie's journey, though, began when she was uh, surrendered to Arbry by the previous owner due to a move. Confused and lost, Sadie found herself in this shelter, yearning for a family that she Aww. had lost. With a nervous disposition, particularly around men, she faced challenges in finding a new home. However, fate had a special plan in store for Sadie. A few months ago, Brian entered Sadie's life, instantly formed a connection with her. Despite her hesitancy to trust Brian in the beginning, Sadie's intelligence and unwavering loyalty gave way. He decided to give this dog the chance uh, of a lifetime by adopting her and welcoming her into his home. Last week, tragedy struck when Brian suffered a stroke while he was oh all alone gosh. at home. But he wasn't all alone at home because... Sadie lives there now. In a remarkable display of devotion, Sadie never left his side. Quick thinking and unwavering determination, she licked his face to keep him awake and then helped drag him across the room to his phone. It was Sadie's actions that enabled Brian to call for help, ultimately saving his life. Currently, Sadie is staying with a family while Brian undergoes recovery and rehab. Despite being apart, they make sure to FaceTime every single night, oh, eagerly cute. awaiting the day they can, uh, they can soon be reunited. How great is that? That's awesome. I love that story. I've got a link to that in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show.